everyone in this video i'll be solving cambridge as level information technology paper 2 for the year may june 18 this is a spreadsheet about a bank which contains transactions in an encrypted form you will decrypt a spreadsheet which holds 76 transactions over a five day period for one client you must use the most efficient methods all documents must fit on single portrait page when printed on F4 paper with at least 12 points high and all the currency values must be dollars with two decimal place. Using suitable spreadsheet open and examine the data in 186 encrypted dot CSV. So open this file. It must be saved as decrypt followed by your center number. So file save as and save as spreadsheet excel workbook save. Insert four new rows at the top of the spreadsheet and place the contents of 186 title.csv. So let us insert four new rows. In order to insert four new rows, select four rows like this. Right click, insert. So that four rows are inserted. And we have to place the contents of the title into cells B2 to L3. We have to place it from B2 to L3. So place it here. Merge cells B2 to L2 into a single cell formatted as a title with 24 point sensory font. B2 till L2 it has to be merged and it must be formatted as 24 point sensory font so Arial for each transaction use formulae to extract the first digit and place this in the transmitted check digit column so this is the transmitted check digit column in this one we have to extract the first digit so we will use a left function we have to insert the first character we'll insert a left function left this comma one so we got the transmitted set digit since this is a digit we have to convert this into the numeric format so i'll be using value function so that it is converted to numeric format you can replicate this the next six digits and display these as the bank sort code for example if the digits are like this we have to display the sort code with two digit format then a hyphen then again two digit and so on so the next six digits that means it will start from the second digit onwards. So bank sort code. I will use a concatenate function. Concatenate. So the first text is starting from the second character. Two. And we need second and third, so we need two characters. Then next a hyphen. Again we need the fourth and fifth character. So this one, comma four, comma two. Then a hyphen. And then again.
this one this cell comma we have to get the sixth and seventh character so six comma two so that we'll get the sixth and seventh character and this is the bank sort code so we got the bank sort code like this we can replicate this The next nine digits and display this as the nine digit account number. So equal to again we'll use mid function. This is the text. So we had taken till seventh character in this bank sort code. So we'll start from the eighth character and then we need nine. Starting from 8th, we need 9 characters. So this is the account number. You can replicate this. Next one, the next 8 digits. And this should be in the date digits column. So for date digits equals again mid function comma the starting position is here we had taken from 8th position we had taken 9 characters so 8 plus 9 17 so the starting position will be 17 and we need 8 characters so you got the date digits you can replicate this The next character and displays this in the transaction column. So transaction column is this. So in this one we had taken from 17th character and completed 8. So 17 plus 8, 25. So the transaction will be equal to mid this text comma 25 comma 1 so this is the transaction any other digits and place these in the working to column so any other digits must be placed in working to column so we have already taken till 25th character so the rest of the characters that means the total number of we don't know how many characters are to be placed in working to but we know that already 25 characters are taken so the rest of the characters will be used in working to that means if we know the total length of this code we can subtract 25 from that so that we will get the working to column. So we can use a write function. Write. This is the data. Comma. We don't know the number of characters. So we are going to subtract from the total length. In order to find the total length, we use the function len of this one len of this minus 25 because we have already taken the first 25 characters so press enter you will get the numbers so this is the formula You can replicate this next place formula in column C to display the date of each transaction the date is held in column B as digits in the form DDMM YYY YY display this date so that if the cell in column contains 12 1 2018 it should be displayed as 12 January 2018 So, 
in this cell in column C we have to display the date in the format 12 January 2018 so first let us convert this into a date for that we'll be using a date function now you can see the format of the date function this is the format first we have to enter the year so year is the last four characters of date digits so I'll give a write function here comma 4 and month is the third and fourth character of the date digits so a mid function will be given comma 3 comma 2 and day is the first two characters so left So this is the formula last four characters this is the third and fourth and first two characters give ok so you will get the date format now this date format has to be converted into the long date format for that I will be using a text function text function is used to display the dates in the required format so you can use a text function when you use the text function you can see click here click on fx you can see this is the format that means the value value means the date which we have extracted now and here we have to give the format so the format must be given in double inverted comma we need the date in two digit format and the complete month name so in order to display the complete month name we have to give 4 M's and then the 4 digit format of the year. So 4 Y's and double inverted comma should be closed. Now you can give OK. So you can see the date is converted into long date format. So this is the formula. Now you can replicate this. Place formula in the calculated check digit to calculate a single digit checksum by adding all the digits in the account number column and extracting the last digit from this total. So we have to add each and every digit from the account number. So each digit has to be added and then the last character has to be taken. After adding, we have to take the last character. So in order to extract this, I will use mid function to extract every character from this. So in order to extract the first character, it is mid this cell comma one comma one that means this will extract the first character now for the second character same way we have to give mid but instead of one it will be two so like that we have to extract nine characters and then add them so this one plus what i will do is i'll copy this And paste it eight times one two three four five six seven eight this plus can be removed now this is the second character this is the third character fourth Five, six, 
सेवन एट एंड नाइन सो वी गॉट ऑल द वी एक्सट्रैक्टेड ईच एंड एवरी कैरेक्टर फ्रॉम दिस सेल एंड वी एडेड दम ऑल फ्रॉम फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर टिल द नाइन्थ कैरेक्टर लेट एस चेक वंस मोर दिस इज मिट वन कॉमा वन टू कॉमा वन दिस मस्ट बी थ्री थ्री कॉमा वन फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन लेट एस प्रेस सेंटर नाउ यू कैन सी वी गॉट द आंसर थर्टी एट बट हियर दे हैव टोल्ड आफ्टर एडिंग एवरीथिंग वी हैव टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द लास्ट डिजिट so we have to use a write function for the complete sum so write start the bracket and end the bracket if you need only one character from the end it's not necessary to specify the number of characters or else you can give comma 1 or simply close the bracket any way you can do so we got the last character and since this is a check digit we have to find the numerical value so we have to use value function value and then this enclose the bracket so this is the check digit place formula in the working one column to compare the transmitted and calculated check digits if the two data items for each transactions do not match indicate that there is an error test the formula for each transaction and correct the transmitted check digit for that row so in working one we have to place a formula so we we'll use any formula to compare if transmitted check digit equal to calculated check digit will display nothing nothing will be displayed otherwise we'll display error so in order to display nothing i'll just give double inverted comma and to display error we'll just type there error enter so here now nothing is displayed because these both are same let us replicate and see whether there is any error so you can see there is an error here and they have told correct the transmitted check digit for that row so here the transmitted check digit is wrong transmitted check digit means it is the first character so we cannot change here first character we had taken from this one so the correct calculated check digit is 4 so this must not be 6 the first character of this must be 4 so you have to change this to 4 once you change it to 4 you press enter you can see the error is gone next evaluate the use of this function and method of correction used in question 5 so this evaluation has to be done keeping in mind the rules of encryption and check digit validation in this method we are only checking by adding the digits so when you are adding the digits it's not making sure whether whether any error such as transposition is corrected so i have given the evaluation here this function will not detect all types of errors it won't determine if whether two digits are transport only account number is involved in the check other data should be also included manually checking for error messages time consuming and in in order to correct it 
data needs to be recent because when we corrected the transmitted check digit actually it is the data which is sent that is corrected so these are the evaluation next automatically display the value of each transaction in either credit or debit column the transaction column must be used and the value held in working to column is the value of each transaction in cents there are 100 cents in a dollar the letters c and d in the transaction column represent credit and debit so according to the credit and debit we have to calculate credit and debit here so if it is credit this data has to be displayed in this column and if it is debit it has to be displayed in this column dollar contains 100 cents that means we have to divide this value by 100 we will use an if function equal to if if transaction equal to C if it is credit only we will display the value in this cell so this divided by 100 otherwise nothing will be displayed so just you give double quotes enter so since this is C now the data is displayed so if transaction is C, this should be divided by 100 because this is in cents. We have to just display this as dollars. For that we are dividing by 100. Otherwise nothing must be displayed. Now you can replicate this. So wherever C is coming, you can see the data. Now here same way we will insert the formula equals if the transaction equal to D if it is D then this value will be displayed divided by 100 otherwise nothing should be displayed so same formula as we did in this enter so in this cell nothing is displayed because here the transaction is C now replicate this you can see the values are displayed wherever there is transaction D it must be represented as dollars with two decimal places so let us select this format cells currency dollars with two decimal place replace the text a and b with appropriate dates and apply appropriate formatting to your spreadsheet So A and B means we have to display the dates here between which dates. So you can see here the date of transaction ranges from 14 January to 19 January. So let us just replace it. 14 1 2018 and 19 one 2018 so this is the data and we have to give appropriate formatting so in the beginning it was told that all the cells must be 12 point And it must be portrayed with A4 size. 
so go to page layout the orientation must be portrait and size must be a4 so the formatting is done and we have given the dollar sign for the currency value next step explain in no more than 200 words what encryption is and why banks use encrypted data so encryption is a security method in which data is scrambled so that it's not understood by unauthorized users and also banks are using this for security purpose so we have to write this a brief explanation must be given so this is the explanation for encryption next part create a new spreadsheet that looks like this so open a new excel file it should look like this you can merge cells a to c and we have to insert the data the bank of tavara In the second row, you can see the ethical global bank must be given, and that's also must. In the fourth cell, you can see statement due. and they have shown the from row 1 to row 5 here row 1 to row 5 let us give the borders and these two cells are merged now this must be bold you can set this as Arial and it must be italic and the size must be you can give 36 and this one can be 24 And we have to give ground color here for both of this yellow background color here we don't have to give the borders so give no border so that it looks like a single cell this cell must be 12 So the formatting is done in cell b4 restrict the data entry so that only a date between 1st january 2018 and today's date can be entered display an appropriate error message if incorrect data is entered so we have to do the validation here in cell b4 so this is cell b4 we have to go to data validation data validation so here they are asking you to enter the dates between 1st January and today's date so we have to choose in the settings we have to first choose which data type you are testing so that is it is a date and between 1st January so 1 1 2018 and today's date so today's date we have to give the formula equal to today
in order to find today's date we use today function and error alert must be given only dates from 1st January 2018 till date is accepted. So this is the error message. Let's give OK. And we can check any date before 1st January. So 31-12-2017. You can see you are getting the error message. And when you give any date in between. 1st March 2019. It is being accepted. And any date beyond the limit for example 8 10 2020 that's also not accepted so the validation is correct so we have to save the spreadsheet as bank followed by your center number and candidate number so this has to be saved as bank So the spreadsheet task is done. Next is the video editing. It will be uploaded soon in another video. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Those who have not subscribed till now, please do it so that you will be updated with the new videos. Thank you for now.